Hi, what's up everyone? Welcome to a new video. It has been a minute, three months to be exact, but I had a long work trip, you know, the whole drill. I needed some time, personal time, but we're back with a morph zoom. Zoom, morph zoom. It's so easy to do. And honestly, when you start using it in your clips, it might be fun. So without further ado, let's jump into the setup process. This will take two clips, one from a uh, far distance away and then another one from pretty close up. So let's jump out into the field and show you how to do it. Right now I'm rolling on the camera and the GoPro. I'm gonna put this in my mouth with the mouth attachment and I'm gonna do two shots, one wide and then one up close. So this is all in real time. All right, ready? Pick that up and walk. Also keep in mind, you want to have a marker so that you know where you're going to cut so the background looks the same. All right, here we go. This is a wide shot. Go. I'm keeping her in the center of the frame. And then once she crosses this line right here, that's going to be my mark point. All right, so I got enough. So walk back. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little bit closer keeping her in the center of the frame and this is my marker boom keep walking so that's how long it takes to actually shoot this and it's really not that bad but the magic happens in post because most of the work is going to be done within premiere pro which is kind of cool so let's jump on into the computer so this is going to be a quick tutorial as you can see this first clip i have here is shot using the wide technique i'm a pretty far distance away from my girlfriend and then i shot it again a little bit closer and what you want to notice about these two clips is actually a key point and an area that looks the same in both and i can see this light pole right here is going to be my cut point so what i'm going to do on my first clip is click c on my keyboard and make that a cut where she is right in front of the pole and hit v and then click the back half of the clip and delete it. Now I'm gonna go to that next clip and find the point where she is right in front of that pole again. I can use the right and arrow keys to jump back and forth. And once I find that cut point, I'm gonna hit C on the keyboard, make that cut, click V to bring up the selection tool, click the first half and delete it. And all I'm gonna do is drag those clips together. You can drag at the end if you want, but now I have this where it cuts from here to there and it's Pretty much seamless. I mean, that in itself looks pretty good since you're match cutting, but all you have to do for this effect is go to the effects tab and type in morph cut. And then you can drag on this effect called morph cut. And it drags a pretty decent amount for that transition, but I'm not gonna have it play for that whole transition. If I go to the center of the cut by using the up and down arrow keys, I'm gonna go to the left two times by hitting the left arrow key. I found that that looks great. And then all I'm gonna do is drag that morph cut to that line. And then now all you have to do is wait for it to analyze in the background. This is where all the magic is going to happen. Now, you can also adjust the length of the morph cut if you wanna get varying effects, but I found out the shorter the effect, it's kind of punchy and it works really fast. Now, this analyzing may take some time. Now that the analyzing has finished, you can look at each one of these frames and it looks like the image is blending together in a morph-like fashion, which kind of looks cool. And if you play it back, it looks like this. It happens so fast, but let's rewind it and show you again. It's kind of cool because it morphs in between two images. And if it's very similar, like these two are, it'll morph nicely. Now keep in mind, you can also go from this clip back to this clip. All you have to do is make a cut and then find the point that matches it in this clip right here. So let's show you another example of using this morph cut and then that'll pretty much be it. So you can also morph in between two similar shots. So this is shot in 120, so I'm gonna click Control R to bring up the clip speed and duration tool and change that to 20% so this looks nice and slow. So I wanna find a point to start this transition. So I'm gonna hit C right here and delete the first half. I'm gonna start the transition here and then I'm gonna make a cut. And now all I'm gonna do is find a point later on that I want to morph to. So let's say I wanna morph to this point right here. I'm gonna make a cut down there and I'm just gonna drag these two clips together. So you can see I'm going from here to there. Now this may be very subtle and it's just like a hard cut. However, using the morph tool, you can actually blend these shots together. So all you have to do is go to the effects tab, drag on morph cut down into that transition point. And let's play around with the length this time. So I'm gonna go to the center and I'm gonna hit the left arrow key three times. One, two, three, just so you can see how the morph 
is working. Keep in mind, I like using shorter cuts where it's one frame to two frames, but hey, three frames might work as well. So let's let this render out. So now that it has finished rendering, you can actually kind of start to see how the morph cut works. And it's pretty incredible. You'll see that the objects that aren't moving as much in the frame will actually have a better morph. But now where there's a lot of movement, you'll get this clipping, but that clipping kind of adds to the effect. So if I loop this, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. You can see that it kind of morphs into each other, which is really awesome. Now you just have to imagine that if this is on a beat drop, it would be pretty cool. Or if you wanted to add some speed ramping into the morph cut itself, that could be really cool as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. It was pretty quick. And if you have any ideas for a future tutorial, just let me know down in the comments down below and I will get to work on that. It's good to be back. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>